What's up guys, it's Reese over Extreme for Graphics.com. I got an encoding tutorial for you guys, teaching you how to use MeGuy. It's an alternative to the other program, Easy Ace 264 So I'm just giving you two different methods that you can encode into an MP4 file for a low file size and good quality. Now the MeGuy is a little bit more difficult than the Easy Ace 264 but it has better quality. So I use this. Uh, a lot of people use this is very good for quality you'll learn it quickly if you just uh, follow this tutorial a few times and render out a few videos it's simple to learn the, the steps for it so let me show you how to export it out of Sony Vegas and into MeGuy so first select your video that you want to export and then go to render as and make sure that is a video for Windows an AV file and go hit custom make sure the video rendering quality is always the best and then go to the video tab have the frame size set to 1280 by 720 for HD 30 FPS leave everything the same and make sure the video format is always uncompressed and that the interleaving is off another important thing is to always have the audio turned off also and then once you have that you can go ahead and render this out so I'm just gonna name this video save alright so once you're done you wanna make sure you actually have some audio to render out cause that's what we're gonna do next just add some real quick wanna make sure it's around the same size of your video just to stop desyncing or any type of problems like that then go ahead and select your audio, render as, and then go down to Wave, Wave Microsoft, and it can be a default template. That's fine. And then go ahead and save it. I'll name this audio. So once that's done, now you can open up MeGuy and put that in there. So you'll come up with this. I'll put this in the description, my whole me guy folder, everything in there. AV scene, if you're going to need that too. All of this is going to have uh, my preset in there. You see it right here, re super config. Um, so once you have your me guy open, you just go down to tools and then AVS script creator. Put your video in there. So for us, to 3 video, that AV. A preview window will come up. You can see your video and everything there just to make sure it looks fine. Go ahead and close it. Um, next, you can leave everything else the same. Maybe if you want to resize or crop it, if it's not actual 1280 by 720, uh, it'll have a video output. That's the AVS script that it needs in order to render it out as a MP4. So you can just hit save. Then a another window will come up the preview window and then you'll have right here the AV synth script and then the video output which will be the video that mp4 so next you want to have your encoding setting so right here this is my config this is the 264 8000 bit rate basically the higher the bit rate the better the quality 8000 is pretty good for a 720p video you'll put in your audio here and then you can just go ahead and click auto encode now with the auto encoding pop-up window you want to make sure the container is an mp4 and that everything else is standard maybe you can render it out for whatever device you're using but keep it a standard if you're going to upload this to youtube or such no file size so make it a no target size and just go ahead and hit q this may come up for some people if uh, this does come up just always hit yes so it can be successfully converted to YV12 hit OK and then everything is in your queue now so from here you just select everything hit start if you don't have a worker and then this will start and it will start rendering out everything it will render out the AVS script the audio, the video, everything. 
so when you're done it'll say done for everything that you selected uh, everything should go fine and if it does you can just go to wherever you saved it so we saved it in the tut3 folder here it is video that mukes if we were to open this you'll see that everything is perfectly fine and you can upload this anywhere I'll put this video at the end of this tutorial so you can see the quality and I'll put everything that you need like the me guy and all of the profiles that you need in the AV scene like I said you're gonna need to install this first in order for it to work and that's basically all that you need I'm Reese over Extreme for Graphics see you next time